Uh, my name is uh, Rasmus, uh, Rasmus Bang. Uh, I am working as an, as an independent consultant, so I am a freelance and my own boss with maybe even three-fourths three of all data warehousing projects uh, and BI projects ultimately fail, ultimately don't deliver the value that people expect. You're more working towards getting insights to people. So, you know, the old, the old paradigm of saying, well, you know, just let me know what you want me to build and I will build it for you. It doesn't really work when you talk about insights because someone is going to look at the, look at the data, look at the insights and say, huh, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. Could you also maybe give me, you know, something more that can enlighten me in this area? It's obviously also one of the areas where people in data warehousing tend to sort of want to pull out their hair because they go, well, we've just spent three months gathering all this data and modeling and normalizing it and, and all these different things. And now you're saying that this is not really interesting. Now you say you want it to move somewhere else, no matter what happens, be it cloud or data science or all that. I, I don't think that we're ever going to be out of a job because this sort of fundamental human um, drive towards getting more information about what's going on, I don't think that's ever going to, ever going to really change. I always really try to um, I really try to spend some time uh, understanding what it is that that people want because people are so um, you can say influenced by whatever new fad or one, whatever new buzzword is is out there. So they might say, "Well, we want some data science," um, or they might say, "Well, we want some dashboards." Uh, uh, or they might say, well, that's one of the most typical things, can you just give me all the data uh, and then I'll figure it out myself. Um, and, and there it's um, sort of in my mind, it's, very, it's a very key thing to try and see, well, are these people really looking at doing ad hoc analysis? Are they really looking to, to do some, some trend analysis? Are they looking to, to gather data in order to build some kind of recurring report that would just as well be in a data warehouse? Are they trying to, to um, um, replicate something that already exists, um, something from a, a legacy system of some kind, or God forbid, are they just trying to you know, gather things together and then they have this one guy in the corner who's really good at doing things in Excel, and then he makes a makeshift data warehouse, which is going to be much more much more poorly performing and uh, much less stable than anything you could put in, in an actual data warehouse. You, you could be in a situation where you're asking someone and they say, well, as a business analyst, I would like our PNL data so that I can uh, do our uh, uh, financial reporting. But then when you sort of get a little bit a step further down, it's actually, or I don't know, if you add a step or something like that, it's I would like to get all our PL data so that I could give it to my colleague who has a bootleg Cognos uh, thing running somewhere so that he can do our PL reporting. So I think I think it's it's um it's it's really it's a very good approach to to understand what is it that people are um what people are are hoping to do. I think one of the best things that you can, one of the best investments you can do is to try to understand the the domain uh, of the organization that you are that you're working with and ideally uh, this is sort of a, a, a pet peeve of mine uh, to um, to see if you can if you can get some insights into it from sort of different areas of the business so if you could say well I would actually like to just get a just a high level sense of well how how do people use this data in a purchasing department? How do they use it in sales and marketing? How do they use it in um, supply chain? Something like that, because that's when the um, that's when the cracks really start to show. And I think that's where in, in many organizations, uh, that's where you have well, more or less all the fights because you have typically a finance department who are, tend to be the ones owning a, you know, owning a data warehouse and finance always has a lot of cloud, so they can say, this is the way we look at this data. Uh, our basis is a finance, financial perspective, so that's just the way it is. And then you have people from sales and marketing saying, well, we can't use this data for anything because it doesn't really give us the insights into our, our areas that we need. And then they say, 
hey, there's we have the CRM system, and that comes with a pretty good um, you know BI tool as well. Can't you just build a you know a, sort of a secondary data warehouse as part of our CRM system, and then have that be our you know sales and marketing insights uh, tool? And that usually works. And then at some point you have a board meeting and the CFO says, all right, I have this report and it says our sales are down 5%. And then you have a CMO who said, no, 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 no. I have this other report. It says they're up by 7%. It can be incredibly frustrating because then, you know, these people send out emails saying what's going on here. Why is it, why does it look like this? And then you have people doing uh, firefighting for two days straight. And they say, well, oh, that's because we use this key figure and, that covers this and this and this, and the other ones use that key figure, but that comes from our SAP system, and that's covering this and this and this. Um, uh, so, um, so, so the more you can actually, the more you have some kind of insights into what it is people actually want to use the data for, I think the better. You will typically have people from a um, from a business area who would like to look into data coming from somewhere completely different. So you would, for instance, have, again, you would have someone from finance saying, oh, actually, I would like to look at our sales lead conversions and then say, could you please make a report with that? And then sort of the data warehouse people would say, yes, yeah, sure, where should I look? And they might say, I don't know, just you know, give me the sales lead conversion. How hard can that be? And that's why you end up in these things where, where insights in the end just tend to tend to be a bit messed up.